Hey, Four Mill, I'm Katie. And I'm Jaden, and this is the PBS Buzz. Happy Friday, Fort Mill. With the school year coming to an end, there's still a lot going on around campus. You know, with exams coming up, I haven't been keeping up with what's going on around school. Next Thursday, May 16th, there's an academic award meeting at 6.30. Also on May 16th, there's a senior meeting starting at the beginning of second block. The school year is ending very quickly. Yeah, you know, with the year coming to an end, I would assume most of the sports are too. I would assume so as well. Let's send to Sean and Avery for more information about Fort Mill sports. Hey Fort Mill, I'm Sean. And I'm Avery. And we're bringing you the all the sports action on the Buzz Sports. The Fort Mill Lady Jackets soccer team beat Spartanburg 2-1 in the first round of the state playoffs on Monday night. Fort Mill was led by Cassidy Parker with two goals. They advanced to play against J.L. Mann on Wednesday. The Jackets lost in the second round of the playoffs to J.L. Mann, ending a very good season for our Lady Jackets. Boys soccer beat Wade Hampton in a double overtime thriller on Tuesday night in Bob Jones Stadium. Down 1-0 with inside a minute left to play, Zach Lundy stuck to tie the game. In double overtime, Brandon Runyon scored a game winner to lift the Jackets to the second round. The Fort Mill track team races to the state championship this Saturday. Fort Mill has three track athletes running for the state championship. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks, guys. You know, Katie, I've had trouble with the ladies lately. You, trouble with the ladies. Yeah, so is there uh, anybody around school that could help me? I think bro time could really help. Here, watch this. What's up, Fort Mill? I'm Jesse. And I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. And there's been a question hovering over men since the beginning of time. What is that question? Well, guys, I think it's bro time. It's bro time. It's bro time. The question we're referring to is how to get a lady. First step is the hunt. You have to know what you're looking for. You can't just go out there and look for any type of girl possible. You know, every girl, there's about a percentage of which ones are going to accept you, which ones are going to slap you in the face. The second step in approaching a female is a job that I perfected called the verbalizer. Now, there's something you might want to consider when you approach a female and you talk to her. Um, you want to make sure she feels good about herself, and that's, the, that's really the main thing, is if, as long as she's feeling good about yourself, she's going to feel good about you, most likely. The third step is getting the number. Be a man and finish it. Guys always think they know the one and true answer to getting a girl. The best way to get women is buy a bunch of things and say whatever they want to hear. Yeah, that's it. It's nothing more. Just look at them in the eyes. But what does a girl really want? I want a guy who's brave and can come up to me and tell me I'm cute. Oh, Fort Mill, you're welcome for your help. We're out. What, did that help any? Yeah, that helped out a lot. I definitely know how to treat a lady right. 
Now with Mother's Day coming up this weekend, I definitely know how to treat her with the right respect, but I just don't know what to get her for a gift. Well, lucky for you, Taylor and Hannah have some great Mother's Day gift ideas. A hug. A bed and breakfast thing. Flowers. A t-shirt that says Bailey is awesome. Chocolates and uh, some, a little bit of flowers. Pandora bracelet. Starbucks gift cards. Like treat her to like a spa day or something. Maybe a foot massage. Hey guys, I'm Hannah. And I'm Taylor. As we all know, Mother's Day is this Sunday, May 12th. You're probably all still wondering about gift ideas to get your moms, but you waited until last minute, so now you're out of time. But don't worry, me and Hannah have great simple ideas that you can give your mom on her special day. To make a lemon scent body scrub for your mom on Mother's Day, you're going to need one cup of sugar, one cup of Epsom salt, one teaspoon of lemon juice, the zest of two to four lemons, and six tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Mix all the ingredients into a large bowl and place the finished body scrub into a plastic container and put a decorative cloth on top. So Fort Mill, you have 48 hours until your mom's special day. The countdown begins now. Back to you guys. Mmm, Jane, these strawberries are really good. Where'd you get them? Well, actually, I picked them myself. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's real easy, and there's many different things you can do with them. Oh, do you have any recipes? Well, I don't, but Jessica and Mickey sure do. The annual Strawberry Festival was held right here at Walter Y. Elijah Park just last weekend in a celebration to welcome the summer season with open arms. And what a better way to celebrate than with some sweet strawberry snacks. Here at the Peach Stand, you can buy some of the best strawberries in town, but we're just here for ingredients because we're going to get our hands on some strawberries that are even more fresh. Here we are at Springs Farm Pick Your Own Field, where you can pick your own strawberries to ensure that they are ripened to perfection for our summer treats. I love picking my own strawberries. <sighs> I love picking strawberries. Springs Farm Strawberry Patch opened to pickers on May 3rd and is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And at a rate of only $2 a pound, who can resist? So let's head to the kitchen so we can get cooking. There's no better way to sweeten your summer than with recipes like these. And Mother's Day is coming up, so keep them in mind. And for more fun ideas in the kitchen, visit www.pastryaffairs.com. I'm Mickey. And I'm Jessica. Reporting for The Buzz. Hey, Katie, you know what sounds really good right now? What? Some strawberry frozen yogurt. Ooh, that does sound good. You should try Sweet Frog. Eh, I'll sing more TCBY. Well, there's also Yoga Novus. I guess there's a lot of options. Well, then where exactly should I go? Well, Stevie, Megan, and Rachel have some more info for you on frozen yogurt. Hey, Fort Mill. I'm Victoria. I'm Brooke. And I'm Haley. And this is Question of the Week. Wait a second. You guys said last week you were going to pass it on. We're not ready to yet. That's too bad. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Go. Give me that mailbox. Hey, Fort Mill. I'm Megan. I'm Stevie. And I'm Rachel. And this is Question of the Week. The question of the week is, 
Why do we have three frozen yogurt places in the 4.6 mile radius of Fort Mill? The small town of Fort Mill has a population of 10,811 people. So why do we have three frozen yogurt places? There's a Sweet Frog, Yogo Novus, and TCBY, all within the 4.6 mile radius of Fort Mill. So we brought in chocolate and vanilla flavors from each of these places at lunch and labeled them as A, B, and C to see which one you guys liked the best. A was my favorite. My favorite was B. C. A is my favorite frozen yogurt. B was my favorite. I like C. B was my favorite. <laughs> C was my favorite. My favorite was A. Well, Fort Mill, A was Yogo Novus, B was TCBY, and C was Sweet Frog. The overall winner for best vanilla and best chocolate was Yogo Novus. So if Yogo Novus was your favorite, then what's the need for the other two? This has been Stevie, Megan, and Rachel reporting for The Buzz. Back to you guys. All this spring stuff and warm weather is really making me excited for summer. Yeah, me too. I wish summer started tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, there's still one thing left to do before summer starts. You have to pass all your exams. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to my exams. They're going to be really tough this year. But luckily, I have a few tips from Professor Asington. You mean Wesley? No, Professor Asington. Believe me. It's time for acing your exams with Professor Asington. Why, hello there. I am Professor Asington, here to help you ace your exams. Now, as you know, exams are coming up within the next month. But you are our bright Fort Mill students. I'm sure you have all been preparing very hard for your exams. I haven't done anything to prepare for my final exams. So far, I've done nothing. What? You haven't? Well, I suppose it's a good thing I'm here then. I'll teach you everything you need to know about acing your exams. Long-term preparation consists primarily of studying. The earlier you start studying, the better you will do on your exams. But I do have some tips to help the reduce the amount of studying you will need to do. Ask your teacher what will be on the exam. They will often tell you topics or even questions that will be on the exam, like with this study guide I have here. Now that you know what to study, you need to know where to study. You want to avoid distractions such as, such as the television or the computer because you will often find yourself not studying anything at all. You do not want to get too comfortable either because you might just find yourself taking a nap. Also, catering to your learning styles will help improve your study. If you are an audio learner, Repeating the notes to yourself out loud will help you remember them. Professor Asington is the greatest professor ever. If you are a visual learner, stare intently at your notes until they leap into your brain. You can also study with a buddy if you think that will help you. Having fun? Nope, me neither. Hopefully you've learned a lot about preparing for your exams. Reporting for The Buzz, I am Professor Asington. Well, Four Mill, that's all we have for this week. Good luck on all your exams over the next few weeks. Well, Colin Morrison, while you're sitting in class, you're watching me on TV. I've officially taken over your show. I'm Jaden. And I'm Katie. And this has been the PBS Buzz. Step three is... And is, are you serious? What? There's still a lot going around. No, sit back down. No. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, she's staring at me. <laughs> Our Lady Jackets beat J O Man. <laughs> they, dang it, no, they beat Spartanburg. They're playing J O Man. Oh my God. The exams will cover everything there is to know ever. Time for you to learn something. Now that you know where to study, no. Still a lot going on. Going on? Reporting <laughs> 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 for the grade now. Information about four more sports. All right, sorry, bug moment. If three frozen yogurt places in the 4.6. Are you serious? 
Oh my god. 